Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. And if you've been a subscriber, welcome back. And thank you so much for hanging with me over these last couple of months. My uploads have been a little sporadic and I'm sorry. Life has just been a little extra crazy. Um, if you watched my get to know me video, then you know I'm a pianist. And at this time of year, there's just lots of extra work for me. Um, but now I'm on Christmas break, I'm on break from teaching piano, so I'm trying to kind of make up for a lost time. I'm starting off with this kind of get ready with me slash tutorial on the look that I'm wearing here. And it is just a muted olive green color with warm browns in the crease tied in with this beautiful mid-tone nude brown lip color. And this is a new one from Maybelline. Um, love this. So I will have all of the products that I use in this video listed in the description box below. This is a look that I think will work well for Christmas, but it can also transition into New Year's or any other time that you want just a little more dramatic look, but you don't want a full on green eye look. Now I do have a much more traditional Christmas look with emerald green, red lips, that is coming. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the tutorial. So to start off our look, as always, gonna start with an eyeshadow primer. Today I'm using the Milani eyeshadow primer. I've really been enjoying this. It's one of the best from the drugstore. And then just to add a little bit of coverage because you can see I have a lot of veins there. So I'm, I found this in mustache. I'm digging it out. It's my Avon primer. You can see trying to get down to the bottom of this. And this is in the color light beige. It comes in two colors. It has a dark, uh, a darker color for if you have darker skin tone than mine. And then this one, and you can see it just gives a little bit of coverage. It doesn't hide everything. And while that sets, we're gonna go ahead and put some foundation on. As you can see, my skin has been a little stressed. Too much sugar, not enough sleep. That's what I think. I'm gonna use a primer today to kind of just add a little extra healthy glow to my skin. And I'm using the Smashbox um, photo finish radiance with hyaluronic acid. So it's got a little moisturizing um, ingredients in it. And I usually don't like glowy primers, but I really love this. I got a sample of it and decided to purchase the travel size. I didn't commit to the full size, but. <laughs> I just feel like my face needs a little extra help today. And then for foundation, I'm going to use a combination. I've got a little bit of sunless tanner on, so I'm going to mix two. I'm using the Too Faced Peach Perfect Foundation, Comfort Matte Foundation, in the shade Warm Nude. And then I'm going to mix in my Holy Grail favorite foundation, the EX1, and this is the shade 2.0. And to blend that in, I'm using this tiny little Sephora Pro um, airbrush brush. I got it free. Um, so I'm testing it out. I've tried it for concealer and a few different things, but I thought I'd just give it a shot today with my foundation. I like it. Blends very well. This is just a short, like a travel size one. I know they sell this with a full size handle, but it's very nice. Okay, so I'm going to let that foundation sit. I'm gonna to wait to do concealer and everything because I know I'm gonna get some fallout today. So I'm going to be doing um, kind of that olive green look as you saw in the intro and I'm gonna use two different palettes one is the supernatural palette by models own and this one has the star of the show today which is this kind of olive 
golden olive color. Um, I'll use one of the mats from here, but because it doesn't have a lot of warm mats, which I want to pair with it, I'm going to also bring in my Too Faced Just Peachy Mattes palette. This is just wonderful. One of my new favorites. If you are into matte, warm matte shades, you're going to love this palette. We're going to start off with the M531 and I'm going to do just a little bit of this peach meringue color all over, kind of from the crease up to the brow. Just fluff a little bit of the shadow there. And then I'm going to go in with my dense um, shader brush. This is the M208 and more of that shadow. And we're going to put that right under the brow. In the crease, for the first color, we're going to start with this color Mystic, which is this kind of camel brown color. And just put that in the crease with my M504 brush from Morphe. I'm blending up into that brow bone highlight color as usual. And then I'm going to switch to a more dense brush to um, the M433. I'm a little tired today, so these numbers are not rolling right through my brain. <laughs> um, and I'm going to pick up a little bit of this color right here. So this is called Peach Cobbler. And we're just going to put a little bit of this on the tip of the brush and put it in in the crease and then a little bit in the outer corner. And I'm just going to bring this about halfway through the crease. go back with my fluffy brush just blend a little bit we may add a little more of those crease colors but we're gonna work on the lid just a little bit first so um, I am now going to take uh, the Sedona Lace EB09 and this is just a little bit shorter bristles than the M433 you definitely could still use this but I like a little more control and we're gonna go in now with peach tart which is a dark brown not not as dark as chocolate dipped but um, we're just gonna use this to provide a little bit of depth out here before we start in with our shimmer shades And then I'm going to go back with my M433, a little more of that peach cobbler right around the edge. Just to softly marry those two colors. Okay, so now on the lid, we're going to go in with our olive color. This is called Spiritual. Um, and it is just a really pretty golden olive color. So it's not wham, green eyes, um, green shadow, I should say. And I'm going to um, put this on with my, oh, I don't know what this is. The number's worn off. I think it's the E60 from Sigma. And we're going to start off with it dry. Now these shadows definitely, um, they still apply fine dry, but then with a little Mac, Mac Fix Plus it really uh, helps them become a little more metallic. So that's what we're going to do. But first we're going to put down a little base. And then I'm going to go in with a little bit of this, which is Phenomenon right here. It just has a little more of a bronze tone. And I'm just going to tap a little bit of this in the center.
And then I'm gonna go in with Ethereal, which is this kind of bronzy gold color. A little more gold than Phenomenon had. Use this in the inner corner. Blend it into that olive shade. Okay, and now on a slightly smaller brush, we are going to intensify the outer corner just a little bit with chocolate dipped and this tiny little brush. This is the M506. And I'm pretty much just keeping this right in the outer lash line and right into that corner. We don't want this to be too intense of an eye look. And then what I like to do is I like to do any blending in the crease before I go in and wet my brush with more of that olive color. So that way we don't have to go back and forth too many times with our brushes and colors. Saves a little time. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna take our E60 and go back with I'm going to load up my brush with this olive color spiritual and I'm going to load that on both sides of my brush so I've got the shadow on and then I'm going to take Mac fix plus or any setting spray that you have you can also use water and we're going to just spritz both sides of the brush so it makes it wet and now we're going to intensify that lid shade and you can see it just makes it a little more metallic than this this is just shimmer but when we wet it it makes it a little more intense so if you don't want that intensity you don't have to wet your brush and I'm just patting And then I'm going to take my finger into a little more of that Phenomenon color and just tap that on the center. And then do the same with Ethereal. I think to just tap this. And then blend the edges with my wet brush okay now we're gonna do a little bit of liner now this is going to be easy because we're just gonna do waterline liner and then a little powder liner if you're not comfortable doing waterline liner you can totally skip this step I don't think I said what I'm using. I'm using the Urban Decay 24-7 Waterline Pencil in Rail, which is a deep dark brown black. And now I'm going to go into my um, upper rim here and I'm just wiggling this in between my lashes. And I just go a little bit at a time. You don't have to do the whole thing at once. And if you need to hold your eyelid up, you can. I've worn contacts for so many years that my eyes don't freak out when something is coming at them. <laughs> okay. You can see it just darkens the look of the lash line there. Um, without covering up all of our beautiful olive color that we've got going on there. Okay, and now we are going to add just a little bit of shadow underneath and on the outer corner of the upper lid. So we're going to start with Peach Tart on this definer brush from Bare Minerals. And we're just going to use this to kind of set the edge of that liner and just add a little definition down here and then i'm going to go in with chocolate dipped on that same brush we're going to use this just right here on the outer corner 
of her upper lash line. Okay, and that is it for our eyes, of course, except for mascara. So I'm gonna clean up under the eyes and then we'll put some concealer on and finish the rest of the face. Okay, so for concealer, I'm going back to one of my favorites, especially at this time of the year when it is so dry. Um, it is the combination of the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. This is in the color light. And then I'm going to put it over the Tarte CC Color Corrector. This is in light medium. So we're going to start with that. And I just tap a little bit here. And then I'm going to go over the top of it with just a tiny, tiny little bit. If you've used this it cosmetics concealer you know less is more <laughs> i'm gonna warm it up with my fingers and then apply and blend it in no let's leave it <laughs> blend it in with my morphe g2 brush And I'm going to pull that color down just a little bit because I want a little more of a highlighted look under the eye today. Like I said, I'm living on little sleep these last, oh, probably three weeks. <laughs> so my under eyes have been rather dark lately. And then I like to just go back with my foundation brush and just blend the edge of that concealer into my foundation. I think that helps keep it from being such a stark contrast. So before I powder, I'm going to go in with the Urban Decay Naked Skin Shape Shifter Palette. That's a tongue twister. And this one has powders on one side and then you flip the mirror and it's got creams. And I've just been loving doing a little bit of cream contour first. So I'm just gonna take my finger and my friend was telling me this is how she loves to just place the contour and then blend it out. And she is right, it is so easy to do this. So place it. And you don't have to do, I know some of you are thinking, why do I have to do cream contour and powder? You don't. Um, but I have just been feeling all the sweets and treats, feeling like I need a little extra, a little extra slimming on the face. So <laughs> this is one of the ways that you can instantly drop five pounds. Just contour your cheeks a little more. Put a little bit of this on the nose. And this palette is really amazing. It is a great quality palette. These creams really blend well. They're not like super oily or anything. Um, so they're very easy to blend. So now I'm going to take this, um, what is this? A Firma brush 103. I think this came in either a BoxyCharm or Ipsy. And I am just going to softly blend that cream contour into my cheeks. we're going to go in with some powder and I've been using the Milani prep set and glow when I'm feeling like my skin's a little dull so <laughs> that is the case today I'm going to use the Sedona Lace 376 and our weather has been so dry that my normally combination skin has been a little more on the dry side so I don't feel like I need my normal mattifying powders. 
Okay, and then before we finish up the rest of the face, I am going to take a little bit of airspun, Cody airspun powder on a little, um, just a powder puff. And if I'm not using a real mattifying powder, but I've used kind of a more emollient foundation, this is my trick to making sure that my eyebrows don't melt off my face through the day. I'm just going to take a little bit of that powder through the eyebrows. And this is going to make sure that they stay in place. And then I'm going to go back with my shader brush. Just brush away some of that excess powder and blend into the eyeshadow. And now let's add some more color to the face because we're looking a little scary. I'm going to go back with that Urban Decay Shape Shifter palette. Why not? I have it out. So I'm going to go into the powder side now and I'm going to first start with this one. Um, this is more of the cool tone shadow or cool tone shade in the palette. I'm just going to go pretty much right over where I put that cream contour and then around the edge of the face. So still more contour than bronzer at this point. And then I'm gonna go in with my Physician's Formula Bronze Butter Bronzer, and this is in the shade Bronzer, on this Eco Tools big old brush. I don't know which one it is, but it's super soft, and oh, just love it for just putting some nice bronzer color on the cheeks. Again, just kind of trying to warm up the complexion a little bit and blend into my sunless tanner I got going on. Now under the eyes, to set it, I'm going to use, this is a new under eye setting powder from e.l.f. And I hate it because they don't have the names on them. I have two shades and this is the lighter of the two. So whichever one that is, I will link it down below. Um, but I'm going to take this and a fluffy brush, this is Sedona Lace 313, and I'm going to just put on a little, tap off the excess, because I really don't want a whole lot, and I'm just going to lightly dust this under the eye. These are super soft, finely milled powders, and so far I've been liking them. I'm trying to decide if I like them more than the normal translucent HD powder, but I'll keep you posted. Okay, now for cheeks. I think I'm going to keep it pretty neutral, so I'm going to use the NARS Madly Blush and my Morphe E4 brush. I'll put some of this on the cheeks. And to make sure, blend all that together, I'm just going to take this duo fiber brush from Sedona Lace also, kind of blend those in. And now we cannot leave off highlighter, of course. So um, I'm using this Anastasia Glow Kit and I'm going to go in with this kind of peachy pink color. It's called Moonstone and it's beautiful. And I'm going to use this MAC brush. This came in um, with a highlighter. It was a set for in their Snowball collection. But any fan brush or your favorite highlighter brush will work. And I love it because it just really helps blend it into the skin. So it doesn't leave this stripe of highlight. But um, this highlighting glow kit from Anastasia... I got a half off deal and it is beautiful. These shades are mm, just so pretty. And the formula is really nice and soft. And you can see just really highlights. It doesn't, but it doesn't make texture on your face stand out. So I um, have to be careful with that. So. And now I'm just going to take a little bit of this highlight shade, this is called Summer, on my pinky. And we're going to use this on the inner corner. Just 
to brighten up a little bit. You know, I like a bright inner corner. And then I'll just take a pencil brush and blend that out just a little. Then I think I'm going to go back in with this palette and a little more of that ethereal shade right there on that pencil brush and just, yeah, blend that just a little bit right there. I just realized I had not put any lip balm or lip gloss or anything on my lips and I'm using a matte lipstick today. So I quick put on some buxom lip gloss to set while I finish eyebrows. So onto eyebrows now we're gonna use our NYX. This is the Precision Brow Pencil and it has this kind of flat side right here and a spoolie on the other. We're gonna brush out all that extra powder we put in there and now we're gonna, I'm gonna outline, um, gonna go along the lower line of the brow. And then on the upper line. And then over the top of that pencil, I'm gonna go in with a little Anastasia Beverly Hills brow powder. And I use a little bit of this light shade right here in the front center part of the brow and then um, this darker shade through the back side of the brow. And don't worry, I know I'm speeding through this, but um, I have a brow tutorial coming. So that will give you a little more in-depth detail on my brow routine. And then I'm gonna set everything in place with my NYX Control Freak Eyebrow Gel. All right, now it's coming together. Isn't it amazing the difference eyebrows make? Okay, so now we're gonna do mascara. I'm gonna curl my lashes. Now for mascara, I'm going to go in with a new mascara. This is the Tartist, um, what is it, Lash Paint, Tartist Lash, Lash Paint. And this came in this month's BoxyCharm. I've tried a sample of this before and really liked it, but I have not yet broken into this tube of mascara. So let's give it a go. Okay, so that took a couple coats, um, but that usually is the case when I first start a new mascara tube. But um, now on the lower lash line, I'm going to use my It Cosmetics Tight Line. This is just my most reliable mascara for the bottom lashes. I know it's not going to smudge and flake on me all day. All right, so now we need some lips. So we are going to finish out with the Urban Decay 24-7 Slide On Glide On Lip Pencil in the color Liar. And then I'm going to use this brand new shade of the matte inks from Maybelline, and this is the color Seductress. Seductress. Ha, huh, hard name to say. Um, I just got this yesterday, and it's beautiful. They smell so good. Oh my goodness. And the applicator really makes these easy to apply. And then the key to these, so that you don't have kind of tacky lips for a long time, is to take your finger and just 
tap off the excess. All right guys, so that wraps up this tutorial. I hope that you enjoyed it and that it gave you some inspiration of maybe a new look to try. If you don't have that Metal's Own Supernatural palette, um, you can use the greens from the Sweet Peach palette or this Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette. It has a little bit deeper olive green color, but you can mix it with one of either the rose gold or this gold shade and it will get you almost to the same color that I used on my lids today. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not already a subscriber, I would love to have you as a subscriber on my channel. Hit that button below and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Thank you.